Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is already August 5th of 2024, and Deadpool and Wolverine is this close to obtaining $1 billion at the box office worldwide. And the last time I looked, it was sitting at $850 million worldwide, and that is a whopping success for Ryan Reynolds, for Sean Levy, Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and especially we have to all also give a lot of thanks to Hugh Jackman for returning to this film. Now, there's been a lot of back and forth scenarios happening between Ryan Reynolds and the Disney executives over Deadpool and Wolverine. We've been talking about this for several months now, and there's still lingering drama happening between Marvel Studios and the Walt Disney Company, and how Ryan is basically bunched in the in between the middle of these, of course, two actual studios going back and forth over this movie. Now, there's a lot of things happening with Deadpool and Wolverine, especially when it comes to a lot of alterations that were made to the film, a lot of revisions that were applied during reshoots, and more. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So we already know that Ryan is one actor that's really out there for the fans. This is the very actor that is willing to take a stand against the Disney executives, against studio heads to really do the right thing, to focus on pure entertainment rather than an ideology or a forced agenda that is typically done by Disney, that is typically done by the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And Ryan is on a mission right now to creating this ripple effect, if you will, to change the Marvel Cinematic Universe, to do away with the majority of Disney's overall agenda. But that's a different story. Focusing on what's going on here with Ryan Reynolds and why he's having a lot of problems as well with Disney on one specific thing related to the film. Let's get into this. Now, already we know that Ryan knows that this movie is a whopping success, but with Deadpool and Wolverine already slated to obtain one billion at the box office worldwide in just a short number of days, one major development now has more to do with more drama related to the film behind the scenes between Ryan and the Disney executives. Now, where it stands is that Bob Iger and the Disney CEO, of course, he is the CEO running the show, recently refused to reinstate some of Hugh Jackman's best, most violent scenes back into the movie for the director's cut after another negotiation took place between Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy facing the Disney heads. It turns out, drama is still happening between Ryan and Disney after they made their final decision to never reveal the World War II scenes featuring Logan as a soldier on the beach of Normandy in a very gruesome scene that was described to be more violent than Saving Private Ryan's opening scene. It turns out that there were scenes filmed that Hugh Jackman spent months training for that features him fighting throughout the wars of World War I, to and Vietnam, and was going to be Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy's way of expanding what was briefly seen in X-Men Origins Wolverine opening sequence. Bob Iger, the Disney CEO, made the final call to never allow these scenes to see the light of day due to the so-called overwhelming violence that, to him and the Disney executives, believed would be too gruesome not just for the, the not just for the theatrical version, but also for the director's cut now, and it won't even be appearing as a deleted scene no longer. This is described to be the final tug-of-war scenario happening right now between Ryan and Disney, and even Hugh Jackman is reportedly furious over Disney's final call to excluding the seven-minute opening scene for Wolverine and his past. Now, Ryan and Sean are already warning Disney of making another ultimatum if this issue is not resolved before the holiday season. What that ultimatum will be is a mystery as of right now. However, Ryan already had an aggressive and argumentative remote meeting with the Disney heads over Iger's recent call to deleting these scenes. The war scenes mainly consisted of World War II, with Logan fighting on the beach and tearing apart German soldiers in a very brutal way that Bob Iger felt was too harsh even for an R rating. As of now, Ryan and Sean are doing everything in their power to save this scene and to bring it to some form of media. Now guys, let me just say one thing about this before I move on, because there is a lot more to talk about here. What's interesting about this is that this was going to be Ryan Reynolds' way of fulfilling what was done briefly in X-Men Origins Wolverine. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there is one amazing scene in there that I think is the best part of the film. Apart from that, it's a subpar film. I was never a huge fan of the film, but the opening scene is gold. You have... 
basically Wolverine and Sabretooth going throughout the wars, throughout their life. You see them, of course, in the Civil War, I believe it was. You see them in World War I, II, Vietnam. It's amazing. And basically, Ryan wanted to really expand that and to kind of fulfill that in a really unique way, in a very violent way, suited for Deadpool and Wolverine. But Bob Iger felt it was too much, that it was too harsh, and even more violent than Saving Private Ryan. Now look, look, you got to understand that Deadpool is a character that really is connected to that violent overall theme, that violent format. And I don't think anything is too violent for a Deadpool film. Let's just be quite honest here. I think that Bob Iger was just doing Bob Iger things, right? That's typically what he does. He's a flip-flopper many times. He will do whatever he has to do to get things done his way. And at the end of the day as well, we know that this movie in particular had a lot of extra footage that was excluded all because of Bob Iger. We talked about this like four months ago. This movie originally was slated to be around three hours long in length. They wanted to shave that down drastically to kind of fine tune the running time and the pacing of this movie. And that's why there's a lot of missing segments in the film that you did not get to see that will be, you know, eventually unveiled by Disney, but some of which won't be. In this case, the World War II scenes, the overall war scenes of Wolverine, Bob Iger wants nothing to do with it, and that's bothering Ryan and Sean. Now, on top of that, even Hugh Jackman is reportedly going to get involved in another ultimatum with Disney's heads, of course, alongside Ryan Reynolds in a desperate move to get these scenes at the very least on social media, somehow from Marvel Studios. As of now, Bob, of course, signed is showing no sign of backing down or caving to Ryan's demands over Deadpool and Wolverine's massive opening scene that was deleted. So, what's interesting about this is that yes, we got a good opening scene in this movie, I will admit, very good opening sequence, but the fact that originally it was going to be catered to Wolverine's past, the actual variant that we do get to see mainly in this movie, it's not a minor variant or anything like that, it is the main variant that we do see played by Hugh Jackman in the film. Now, what I love so much about this is that this was, like I said before, Ryan's way of perfecting what was briefly done in X-Men Origins Wolverine, and Bob Iger really wanted nothing to do it. The fact that you now have Kevin Feige taking a stand as well, and siding with, of course, Ryan Reynolds, and siding with Sean Levy is a very big deal. Will that be enough to turn the tide and to cause Bob Iger to cave? Is it also a big mystery? Because we know that Bob Iger does not want these scenes to be unveiled to the general public. Now look, this is exactly why I say that Bob Iger at times, and many times, can be very hard to deal with, especially when you're a Ryan Reynolds or Sean Levy that want to make something great, especially even, uh, you know, post-theatrical release. If you want to do something on disc or streaming and you want to unveil those deleted scenes, they're having a tough time with these ones. And we'll talk more about this down the road as this begins to develop. But interestingly enough, I would love to hear what everyone has to say about their overall take on the war scenes that are excluded from even the upcoming special edition whatever have you, of Deadpool and Wolverine. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later.